Another reason people find it hard to forgive is a form of self-judgment. But first, before we explore that, let me give you a quote. It's from the book Forgiveness is Power. Forgiveness is easy when we find healthy ways to meet the genuine needs of the parts of us which don't want to forgive. This is really important because another reason people find it hard to forgive is self-judgment. This is part of all this crazy making feelings that can arise in us when we are taught that we should forgive, but nobody teaches us how to forgive. This creates a split inside us. The logic behind the split goes something like this. Forgiveness is good, therefore the part of me which wants to forgive is good. If the part of me that wants to forgive is good, then the part of me which does not want to forgive must be bad. This is wrong, this is bad logic is what it is. The part of us which doesn't want to forgive is actually often trying to protect us. You know, it's often trying to protect us from harming ourselves again and may not necessarily be doing so out of wanting vengeance or anything like that. It may have genuine reasons. This is not actually our negative feelings or angry feelings or vengeful feelings that get in the way. It's actually our lack of acceptance of those feelings that get in the way. And then once we accept those feelings, it becomes much easier to forgive. Once we acknowledge our true feelings about a situation, forgiveness becomes a lot easier. Why? Because in order to forgive, we need to be honest about what we are forgiving. And that has a lot to do with the feelings which arise for us around that situation. Once we acknowledge our true feelings, we can let them go, but first we need to acknowledge them. Sometimes our aversion to our raw, primitive, gut-level feelings get in the way of our ability to forgive. This is especially true for nice people who don't want to face the darker sides of themselves. If we have a concept of ourselves as a nice person who never feels bitter, hate, blind fury or an urge to kill, that can get in the way of our ability to forgive if those feelings are arising for us about a person or situation we need to forgive. Covering our genuine feelings with a plight and superficial mask does not contribute to the forgiveness process, whereas genuine honesty does contribute to the forgiveness process. Can something as important as forgiveness be based on anything other than complete honesty? Not in my experience. Therefore, part of the process of forgiving a situation needs to include a way to become more and more honest about how we really feel about that situation. However, although we need to be honest about our feelings in order to forgive effectively, we don't need to get caught up in those feelings. There's no need to get all caught up in the past. There's no need to relive the past. But we do need to acknowledge our honest feelings about the past. We acknowledge those feelings in whatever form they take in the present moment. Forgiveness is real, and like anything that is real, it can only happen in the present moment. We might need to uncover honest feelings a bit at a time, and that is one of the reasons that the four steps to forgiveness work so well, as it enables people to do that, enables them to uncover their feelings step by step and a bit at a time. In other words, we can only forgive to the extent we're willing to acknowledge what it is that needs to be forgiven. You need to include all of you in an honest and genuine way in order to be able to forgive. Now that sometimes includes very raw <laughs> feelings about a situation or a person. Including all of yourself makes forgiveness easier, not harder. The more you include all of yourself, the more genuine forgiveness happens in your life. Forgiveness then becomes more of an easy, natural flow. Often when I give workshops on forgiveness, I see people's eyes light up as they look around with a surprised sparkle in their eyes, as if to say, sometimes they actually say, wow, this is so easy. 